we ain't mad at Scott. We want you to see this face. In the red, we want all smoke. We ain't dying in no red. You need to know who it was that did that to y'all. Pooh Shiesty's been making waves in the industry, being one of the most talked about rappers in the world of hip-hop today. With several successful tracks under his belt, it looks like he has nowhere else to go but up. However, no matter how much of a die-hard fan you are of Pooh Shiesty, there are still a few things you don't know about this rapper. So in today's video, let's dive deeper into the life of this trending rap star, where we will reveal 8 things you didn't know about him. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like on this video if you're a fan of Pooh Shiesty. And if you'd like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 12, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Number 8. No one knows the origin of his rap name. Of course, this young rapper wasn't born Poo Shiesty, but the crazy thing is no one knows the origin of this rap name. Some rappers get named by friends, but this rapper has his for personal reasons. Still, his real name is Lontrell Donnell Williams Jr. As a young rapper, he finally became legal in 2020 and wants to make a mark in the rap industry despite being new to the game. Number 7. His father owned Mob Ties Records. Poo Shiesty, who was born on November 8, 1999 in Memphis, had a childhood that's really different from that of most rappers. Usually you would discover that a lot of these rappers grew up with just a parent or lived far away from home, but not Poo Shiesty. He had a fairly stable childhood where both his parents played active roles in the picture. And it gets interesting when you realize that his father was a rapper as well. Lontrell Williams Sr. went by the rap name Mob Boss. So when he created his Memphis-based record label, it was no surprise that he named it Mob Ties Records. However, despite his father being in his life during the early stages, it didn't last long as the senior Williams ended up in jail. Both Pooh Shiesty and his father were a huge part of the streets of South Memphis, where they grew up, but Montrell Sr. got tangled in the murder of a radio DJ and was charged as an accomplice. Although she was found dead in her apartment, and it was proven that Pooh Shiesty's father didn't actually commit the murder, he got jail time for somehow being involved in the events that led to her death. With pictures of the young Pooh Shiesty and his father dressed up as gangsters with machine guns, which were probably just props, you can tell the kind of relationship that existed between these two. The rapper even sang about how he shoots like his daddy on the track Monday to Sunday. Number 6. He got expelled from school at 11. Whatever Pooh Shiesty did when he was just 11 years old, it was enough to get an ankle monitor slapped on his ankles and also kicked out of school. However, he's been able to keep this under wraps as no one knows for sure what his crime was at that early age. Still, after he got expelled from school, he moved on to an alternative school. When the rapper turned 16, he relocated from Memphis to Texas with his mother, but returned two years later. In Texas, he had to adjust to a completely new life, and things didn't just work out. So he did the next best thing, return home. This was the turning point for him as Pooh Shiesty started rapping when he got back, and with a few consistencies, he got his big break in the rap industry. Number 5. He rose to fame thanks to Gucci Mane. Pooh Shiesty started releasing music alongside his childhood friend Big 30 when he got back to Memphis. This was back in 2017, which shows that he hasn't really been in music all that long. They both kept at it with little to no recognition until Pooh Shiesty dropped Shiesty Summer, which turned out to be his breakout hit. Moneybag Yo did a remix of this song in March 2020, and he finally got the attention of Gucci Mane through Main Slime. This superstar artist believed that Pooh Shiesty had the talent to become the next big thing in music, and so he signed Pooh Shiesty to his new 1017 record label in April 2020. Of course, when you're associated with a celebrity artist, it would start to rub off on you, and Pooh Shiesty put his newfound fame to good use with some great hits. He collaborated with Gucci Mane on a track, and then for the 1017 compilation album released in July 2020. By November, Pooh Shiesty released Back in Blood, which featured Lil Durk. The amazing thing about this is that it became his most streamed song, with more than 20 million plays on Spotify. Number 4. He lost his brother to brain cancer. Pooh Shiesty is not an only child, but in March 2021, he had to watch his brother leave his life after a long battle with brain cancer. After his brother's death, the rapper took to social media to pay his tributes, while fans helped him mourn the huge loss. Apart from fans, other celebrities had a few things to say, and one of them was Drake. As someone who lost a friend in a similar manner, Drake sent a series of condolence messages to Pooh Shiesty, telling him that he knew the feeling as well. Number 3. He could go to jail for a Florida shooting. A few weeks before he dropped the track with Lil Durk, Pooh Shiesty got involved in some serious legal trouble. According to video surveillance footage, the rapper had been involved in a shootout at Bay Harbor Islands, Florida. This shootout, which happened in a parking lot in broad daylight, started out like any other day, with no signs of the mayhem about to be unleashed. Soon, two Mercedes vehicles and a McLaren pulled into the parking lot, 
with things appearing calm, while some men got out of their cars. Suddenly, bullets were flying all around, with two people getting hit enough to seek medical attention. Although this happened during the day in a well-lit area, it's still quite difficult to identify the men caught on the footage. However, after a while, the men all retreated into their fancy getaway cars, speeding off while the victims hobbled away. So how does Pooh Shiesty come in? Well, the camera caught the rapper as he was right in the middle of this violent altercation. There are a lot of rumors surrounding what started this in the first place. One guess is that it was a drug deal gone wrong, especially as the police recovered $30,000 in cash from a bag belonging to Pooh Shiesty. Thankfully, none of the victims died, but the rapper's not off the hook yet. One of the victims told the police that they were there to sell weed to the rapper, while the others said they wanted to sell a pair of Air Jordans. Obviously, the stories don't match up, but Pooh Shiesty was released on a bail bond of $30,000, which is ironically the same amount he left on the scene. Still, the rapper engaged the services of Bradford Cohen, the same lawyer who helped high-profile artists like Lil Wayne, YNW Melly, and Kodak Black beat their legal cases. We still don't know for sure if Pooh Shiesty just happened to be in the car during this shooting, or he was actually a part of the shooters. Still, Bradford will have to work his magic in court to help Pooh Shiesty avoid jail time. Only time will tell if this case will destroy his career, which is just starting to light up, or it'll be one of those stories for his journey to the top. Number 2. He's Inspired by Lil Wayne Most musicians and rappers today draw styles from other greats before them. It's always just something unique that makes them stand out, and they want to reflect this style in their kind of music as well. Pooh Shiesty is no different in this case. Although there are several rappers that he said helped shape his style, the one that stands out for him the most is Lil Wayne. The rapper fell in love with Pooh Shiesty's musical genius and uses him as a source of inspiration. Kodak Black used to be on this list as well but Pooh Shiesty has since lost respect for him due to differences in opinion. Number 1. He learned all about music from his dad Remember we mentioned that his dad was mob boss? But there's so much more to the relationship that father and son shared. Although Pooh Shiesty's father didn't expect him to rap, the rapper grew up learning everything there is to know about hip-hop, from spending long hours at his studio. Thanks to how much time he spent being around his dad's label, Pooh Shiesty learned about touring, hosting shows, and all the secrets to his successful music career. Looks like he put all that knowledge to good use after all. And that brings us to the end of today's list. Which Pooh Shiesty music is your favorite? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you're a big fan of Pooh Shiesty. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.